That was awesome. BPS. No, I don't think the max on. I don't think the max on either. All right. Ah, oh, okay. There we go. We can hear me. I can hear myself. Nice solo cast for myself until I find someone walking by and I grab them and I pull them onto the headset. Actually, I know just. I know just the victim. I got five. I got five on uh. Do you do you know how to use this one? I'll figure it out. All right. Today's work. If I say he's playing Falco, he's playing Falco. This is even. What are you thinking? I got, I got, oh, I got five on Abel. Alright, I'll take it. Shape. Dope. I think I'll catch that. You got Beam it? Nope. You got Bank Transfer? Yeah. Alright, Bank Transfer on me then. Uh, this is losers. Guys, is this winners or losers? This is losers. Huh? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope. Well, you can you can hear me. Yeah, I like, can hear myself too. It's kind yeah. of freaky. Nah, it's good. It's it's. It took me getting somebody used to on the other stream. All right. So now we're on the big. Rip it with the tech chase. Oh shit! I fucking hate tech chasing. It's so gay. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't say that. No, it's fine. We're on the <laughs> we're on the be we're on the after dark stream. <laughs> Anything goes. Oh, that's dead Falcon. Oh, never mind. I mean, like, who Rupert. else? Is, who else is good in Vic that plays Falcon? Cindy. Oh fuck. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I really didn't think this one goes. What can you do? Yeah, no, I I may be. Well, it's alright. Oh, damn, the reverse backer. That's I the Rari backer. I reckon Black Cray would have done that one. The Rari Black Air? Yeah. Did you ever play Melee? Yeah, maybe. Do you reckon he plays? He's for sure a Marth player. Dude, you can't say that. I reckon he is though. Dude, that's racist. <laughs> I know why you said that, and I think that's kind of fucked up. Anyway, Rupert taking game one. Oh uh, uh, no, jacked it off. You really think you really think Abel's gonna lose now that he's taking the jacket off? You're actually delusional. Is it best of five? Uh, yeah. All top 48 is best of five. Ope day. Oh shit, it's Tish. That's Tish, you want some side action on this? You want some side action on this? Yeah. yeah. I'll put a five on 
Uh, I got five on Abel. So, so I guess you can you can also put five on Abel against Lou. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright. So you and I together, Tish. I got ten on him. Ten on Rube. Yep. It's alright. I'm like, I, I come out even either way because just before I put five on Lou against Yingling in row two. On, yeah. Ag and, uh, against Josh. And, and I fucking won that shit like a demon. And when I told Josh, I said, you owe me five dollars, he walked off. So I'm gonna have to be persistent. I'm gonna have to threaten to DQ him if I don't Why? get my fucking money. Melee. Oh yeah, just do it. Don't even fret. Just do it. Be like, no, give me my money, bitch. I mean, talk. I thought you meant just do it as in just do it now. It'd be kind of a funny bit. <laughs> <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be a good... Incoming ad break. Dude. Fuck off. Yeah, there's no ads here. Ads are super later. off. See, Rupert hitting them with the dunk. Well, dude, that around was... Just one in melee. Uh, and you lost. No, you won. So you beat Nick. So you, so you lost beat. to Nick. Oh, yeah. You beat Nick. Was it close? I lost to what was the score? I just don't believe. Wait, Josh beat Nick? Yeah. That's my fucking That's goat. Dude, what the fuck? That's my dog. What did I Dude, tell Martha's you? Dude, Martha's so broken. Yeah, I know. Fucking uh, I bet Nick loved that one. I bet he was very happy. Fucking Nick. Ted Jason is gay. You are right. Yeah, I know. It's cool when I do it though, like with the back throw with Fox. Well, that's not tech chasing. Fox can't tech chase. He can. No. If you do it right, you can. No, because if he did something that was like tech chasing, it wouldn't be called tech chasing. Because oh, tech chasing is always is lame. lame. But, Fo but Fox isn't ever lame. Who <laughs> lost a cookbook? I'm. Dude, everyone lost a cookbook. I lost a cookbook. It fucking hurt, like a bitch. That's right. Abel's definitely just doing the download. For sure. No, it's alright. You really. I didn't say this yesterday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, that's my guy. <sighs> Dude, I'm. We're, we're fucking. I'm so tired. It's a low energy. It's a low energy cost. Yo. It is a low energy cost. We could tell the story about what happened to me last night. <laughs> Public intoxication van? <laughs> yeah. I tell you about that too. I Dude. got put in the public intoxication van. <laughs> Lou Lou yeah. got abducted. Lou is the dumbest motherfucker ever. <laughs> waiting for a thirty dollar Uber and this random van comes up and says, with a public intoxication <laughs> like, you know, service or whatever, we'll give you a lift home for free. And Lou's like, Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I hopped in that van. And I was kind of like tweaking out. I was like, wait, this is a fucking bad idea. Like, I'm gonna get abducted. And I look, looked up the thing and it was like sweet. So I was like, oh, awesome. So I just got a ride home to Clem's place. Like, literally the only person I've ever known. I've lived in Melbourne for eight, nine years. No one I've ever known has ever spoken to me about having the public intoxication <laughs> van approach them and offer them a ride home. Like, can't, what the, only to fucking Lou Deli. <laughs> Cause I'm special. I'd, yeah, you are special. <laughs> no, especially in a good way, not in a bad way. I, yeah. Tish, did you see I beat Yangling and fucking, yeah, I'm the goat. I play SNC, you reckon I got that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, nice. Rupert doing his gay little dash dance. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm over the pillows. Can we can we like what are, what's up with them? What like the Zin pillows? No, the the, the moths having the pillows on their lap. Oh, are they talking about Zin? Yeah, I don't know. No, 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 no. Like like Chibe has a pillow on his lap when he plays. What? Zane has no. a pillow on his lap when he plays. Look at the player cam. Rupert has a pillow on his lap. That's fucked. What a world we live in. Yeah. Is that Lawrence and whoever? Bro, why is there so many anime tits on this computer? Whose computer is this? Um, this is... Not Kai's. I'm, I was gonna assume so. Yeah, no, we are... I've stopped looking at the game and I'm just looking at anime titties currently. That's what's behind the monitor. Nothing dope. Oh, there's one dope sticker behind the monitor. You gotta like real... It's like real behind it though. Look at that. Like way far deep. You see it? Like right there. 
It's like upside down. Dog. I think that's the dopest one on the mon on the computer. Know. Wait, wait. How did he lose his stock? Oh, I think fuck. he got gimmed. Tish, pay up, buddy. Dude, I have fuck my day bitch on this life. <laughs> pay up, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, Rupert. Fuck. Thank you. Yeah. I needed that five bucks, Rupert. Fuck you. I needed that five bucks, Rupert. <laughs> oh, it's you and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's I'm going to play rivals. It's all good. I believe in you. You said you had some Falco. No, I did have a Falco. You can't read psychics. You can't read psychics. Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, you had me convinced. I was like, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, I had me convinced. Because I thought we were going to... Yeah, I just sort of only want to commentate that much. Yeah. Unless you want to. Do you want to? No. Nah. Oh, right. How do you. How do you. How do you spell Hyrie again? K. Oh, why thank you. I've now been given the reins back. How are we, chat? It's great to have you all here. But, uh, well, Rupert, Kyrie, we're going to be sitting here having ourselves a bit of a fun time with this one, ladies and gentlemen. As, uh, how's everyone in chat going? It's good to be back. It's good to be back. It is fantastic to be back, some would say. Absolutely fantastic to be back. We see some good hits coming in. We're seeing Rupert playing a little bit more steady. He's not wanting to get over-aggressive. He doesn't want to find himself too many openings to allow Kyra to come back into this one. And it's currently working for him. He's been able to find a lot of success here. Now it starts to slowly look as if we're going to be seeing Kyrie. Putting in towards a bit of work. Might even be able to take that first stock away from Rupert. But Rupert, he's fighting hard. Eventually, we'll lose that stock. But a high percentage on towards Kari. We're going to be seeing that Rupert's math getting to work. A big hit will come through. And we're going to eventually see Rupert take that one stock lead back. Kari doesn't want to let that lead intimidate him. Because Rupert's the only one taking damage here. So his hits look to uh, try and just keep distance. Eventually, we're going to be seeing Rupert get back on towards that stage. Wants to go chasing those fights. With Kari here at the moment. Still playing a smart game. He doesn't want to get too aggressive. He wants to allow Rupert to come to him. Big moves. We're eventually going to be seeing a tech issue with Kari there. Eventually goes down to his final stock. Rupert just getting a little bit lucky. With Kari having errors. Eventually going down. He'll end up losing that first game. Rupert takes advantage of the mistakes made by Kari and punishes accordingly. While taking advantage of those mistakes. You know, Kari at the moment. Hello. You wanna come come cast? Come cast, jump jump in then. Come jump in then. <laughs> like as soon as I rocked up, <laughs> I had two people who were just sitting here, it's like, nah, we're leaving. And I'm like, why? And it's like, we know you cast. I'm like, what? And they're like, <laughs> I'm like, I feel bad. 
Because no. everyone who's like been near this setup is like, oh, I'm a commentator, so I have to cast. I'm like, no, fucking you do it. They can just <laughs> sub just in. Just have fun, bro. Just have fun. <laughs> it's great to watch. It is great to watch. Rupert at the moment, uh, he's taken advantage of Kari's mistakes. We saw it in that last set. Two major issues. And we've got Josh, man. we got Josh, man. You know, he won doubles yesterday with Don. I did. Hype game. You know, he's a... he's. You know, Josh Man, he's a uh, he's a big time guy here. I don't know what he's doing around the commoners, but he's a big time guy. He's just taking up the whole stairs to do his shoes. Yeah, taking up the whole staircase <laughs> to do his shoelaces. That's a bold move. He runs the joint. <laughs> he runs the joint, man. <laughs> uh, Huey, uh, Huey's out. Huey's out? He lost to a mark. Fuck. Absolute. Heartbreak. Heartbreaking. Absolute heartbreak. I got a text from Huey this morning, and it said, Do you know Has Daddy Slim? And I was like, I don't know if I should feel fear. Because <laughs> Has Daddy Slim is another commentator. Um, <laughs> oh, is that the uh, other CS commentator? Yeah, is, another C is there another CS commentator here? Apparently, that's Has Daddy Slim. I think. I'm calling him. Huey? I'm calling him. No, I'm calling Has. <laughs> Might swing by the funny smash after work, what time it finish. <laughs> I think he's having fun. Uh, if, he, if he's the other guy here. Because I get the text from Huey as I wake up, and it's just, do you know has Daddy Slim? I'm like, I don't know if this is something I need to be fearful of. Maybe, we'll find out. I need out. to fear this question? Uh, we'll find Huey, we'll see. We'll find, yeah, we'll find Huey, we'll give him a hug and we'll see. That's uh, Kari at the moment. Down to that final he's stock. He's coming back. He's having himself Slightly. a bit of a fight. He's playing patient now, but it looks as if Rupert back in the driver's yeah, seat of this go. one and will finish it off finding a second game for the Marth. Rupert's kind of locked in. You've got to appreciate it. He does have... He's got beautiful hair. I, I can match it if I take it down and actually wash it. Yeah, but I Rupert. cannot be fucked. It is such a hassle. Rupert's hair, <laughs> it looks fucking good. I'll be honest. Magnificent. It looks magnificent. I went crown last night. How'd you go? Not too bad. <laughs> we up or down? Oh, we are, we are so up. We are so up? We are so up. God damn! <laughs> we are up! <laughs> we are up! God damn! I'm an absolute sun run this weekend. <laughs> You've had an insane run. Yeah, 500 into four grand. That's crazy. Dude, the crown is fucking insane. Yeah. You don't like to play any of the pokies without signing up and getting a card. Yeah. And then also, they cash you they cash your money out in hundreds. Yep. And none of the machines take hundreds. Yeah. They made it... So, I don't want to gamble there. They made it so difficult. <laughs> they made, it, made it difficult to gamble at Crown Casino. I can't believe Table it. Table games. Beautiful. Table games are great. Which honestly, it's, if you're there, you should be playing. Yeah. Give the give the slots a miss. Give the slots to the uh, to the clubs and pubs. Support your local. Go to the <laughs> pokies. <laughs> get the money out. Yeah, get the cash out. Support your local, because you know. Make sure it's an RSL. <laughs> yeah, it has to be an RSL. It, if it's not an RSL. If it's not. ALH, they don't need the money. They're fine. Yeah. If it's an RSL, like at least you're committing good to the community. <laughs> In theory. With your problem. Hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to be an addict, at least let other addicts benefit from it. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's not a bad thing. Speaking of addicts, I've just seen Josh, man. Um, that's a joke. It'd <laughs> 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 be so funny if I just, I just, just, if I just <laughs> out him about being like a fucking fiend. <laughs> He's a Powerade addict. Look at that. <laughs> that's like his eighth. This is eighth of the day. <laughs> I'm no better. I'm my second monster, and I got another two. Another two to another go. Another two to go. How was the um, Spyro G fuel? I haven't had it yet. You haven't had it. That's yet? one of them. That's one of the two That's left. That's one of the two left. I hope it's better than the Goku G fuel. The Goku G fuel was foul. <laughs> what flavor was it? I think lychee strawberry something. Oh, yeah, no. They changed. I think they've changed purple mothers. They didn't used to be lava guava. No, this is uh, there's, there's two purples now. That's not confusing at all. There's purple gold and then there's purple white. Ugh. Lava guava is kind of fire. They need better branding. They need to get on the monsters level. They do. It's insane that they're such great drinks 
have the fucking worst base flavour. Speaking of great drinks, um, <laughs> Rupert off to have some beverages of himself. A quick 3-0 against Kari there. Light work for the Victorian. As uh, I mean, he's just such a powerful figure. He's just such a powerful figure with the long hair. He's got the pillow out. He's comfy. Huh? I'll oh, leave it here. We'll sort it. We'll find someone, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Rupert. Business as usual. Taking names. Counting stocks. Cleaning swords. Cleaning swords. <laughs> cleaning stock, some would say. A bit of a, a bit of a legend of the setup at the moment here on the uh, side stream. Thank you, Rupert. Good game. <laughs> They, oh, I love that guy. I agree. It is hard out here for Falco mains. It is. It is. I look as a Falco main with about a month or two of experience. I feel the pain. As someone who doesn't own a Falcon, <laughs> um, <laughs> someone here who used to drive an AU Falcon. <laughs> I don't know if that Ooh. counts. Does that oh, count? close enough. Yeah. So I used to drive an AU Falcon. That shit was a nightmare. All right, I'm going for a smoke. It's lovely to stop in. That's <laughs> the vlog. Thank Best you for stopping in. Oh, I'll check it out. Come have a chat. <laughs> check out the... I can't have a commentator looking that lonely. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> That's true. I'm sure. We'll get someone else on. All uh, right, we'll, we'll find somebody. We'll I'll try find and send someone. Huey your way. Send Josh. I don't think Josh will come. It would be very funny if he did. I'll try. <laughs> It'd be very, very funny. <laughs> I'll find someone to send you away. Thank you. Hopefully, uh, actually send you games as well. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully we get some games. Um, huh? Have you been getting a few games set? I just got here and that was the first set. That's it? That was the first game I've had. I'll try to get more set. Let's see if we can get more games. But chat, so how is everybody in chat doing at the moment? Because we're now back into the downtime. We're now back into the downtime chat. How are we all doing? How are we all chat? Jab. Jab da 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 jad. Chad da Uh, looks like we got nothing. No. Thank you. I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Rupert VMC. Next up on the cards. Ooh, could be dangerous. Could be very, very dangerous. Could be dangerous. That is all I'm saying. And VMC at the moment. He's had a bit, he's had himself a bit of a tear. Rupert's had himself a bit of a tear recently. I mean, you don't get this deep into the bracket without, you know, playing well. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Rupert's actually taking the initiative, kicking people out from behind the setup. That's a bold move. That's a bold move. <laughs> kicking people out from behind the setup is a bold call. Hey, guy. <laughs> you still in pools? Oh, you still in? Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, we love to see it. Kai's still winning. It's a good day for everybody. Good day for everybody. Good day for everybody involved. See, I'm interested to see how MC is going to do here. I feel like MC sort of is the is technically the better player, but Rupert at the moment has himself a lot more patience than MC has, because we've seen MC dash into fights pretty much this entire way when we saw him in pools. Um, and for MC at the moment, you know, if he's able to land combos and he's able to be quick. Uh, in terms of the damage that he's being able to do, in terms of a lot of the uh, effect he's able to have. You know, it can really become quite interesting. Wait, now I'm curious what's going on. Kai's breaking everything. <laughs> You're all good. Wait, MC. Is UV Rupert Bracket? Right, it's Brack again. Now we're having uh, Kai fix some stuff up. The homebrew channel. What are they homebrewing? That's what I want to know. What are they homebrewing? What are they homebrewing? Homebrewing some beverages, perhaps. Some beverages like today's sponsor, Hello Fresh. Homebrewing beverages like today's sponsor. Love to see it. <coughs> Uh, what was that? That was the doubles bracket from yesterday. Um, 
Yeah, well, let's take a look at sort of where we are at the moment in the bracket. I think we're in bracket. We are. We should be in bracket. We should be in bracket. Work it out. People are popping off behind us and we love to see it. So Josh Man McLeod's going to be a really good game. Decker Skizro will be a very good game. Goody Sumi is going to be a good game. Uh, Rupert MC we've got coming up here. Calvin v Monkey is going to be a good game. Dom V vs Chibe is going to be a good game. Yingo v Microsoft J is going to be a good game. Oh, Yada be True Life. That's crazy. This bracket at the moment's built different. How equal is the game coming up? Pretty equal. Rupert MC, they're sort of the same guy. They just have different tolerances to sort of how long they want to wait to make it, make a hit essentially it's the only difference it should be a pretty interesting game I wouldn't be surprised if this goes all five sets if this goes all five games sorry if this goes all five games this set goes all five games be very interested this car is doing some last minute repairs we're gonna be here for a while chat Patience will win the set, in my opinion, yeah. Because we've seen we've seen MC and Rupert both sort of be polar opposites of each other, if you know what I mean. Like when we saw them in pools yesterday, Rupert was a lot more patient than MC was. Um, but MC, you know, he was able to find success with aggression, and you love to see it. Honestly, you do love to see it. It was uh, it's good to see. Like, two polar opposite playing styles coming up against each other. It's fun. It's going to be fun. It should be fun. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed it should be done. It should be fun. Um... <coughs> Chat, how excited are we for NCAA 25? One of the mains, Falco Marth. So like, what? Rupert wins the matchup. Marth better than Falco, but MC plays crazy aggro. So, yeah, brutal matchup. Oh, brutal matchup for MC. You see him pacing around there. Look, hold up. If we go, if we can go full screen players, you see MC pacing around. He's nervous. There's a bit of shivers. He's got the shakes. He's got the shakes. I don't blame MC for being nervous. Bit of a scared kid, you know. Like he's like, ooh, 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 ooh. Now he's staring directly at the camera. I think he wants to know that he can see you guys. You can see everyone in chat. Rupert's finally rocked up, so you see those nerves get tucked away, as well as the shirt. It's a very nice shirt, I will admit. I don't know if he's cold or nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's cold or nervous. I think it's both, to be honest. I think it's both, to be honest, chat. Just need Kai to move out the way, so we can look at MC more. Pearl's face, capitalize with pressure when it opens up. Yeah, but we've been seeing Rupert play, like, so passive that it, very little is open for MC to capitalize with pressure, you know? Like, we saw it in that last set where Rupert was able to just knock out... What, who'd he play against? Um, Karai, or whatever his name was. Like, he was able to just keep him out and keep him boxed out of fights, which was good to see. Like, he was able to, you know, do damage early, being able to put that pressure on towards him early on. And then Rupert was just able to capitalize on, you know, the success he had being able to box out that Falco in fights. But MC is a completely different player, I'll be honest. I think it's going to get a massive boost in quality from what we saw last uh, last set. 
where it was a 3-0 to Rupert. I think Rupert will have a little bit more of a tougher time, but I also think Rupert um, is sort of the polar opposite of MC's play style, and whoever can sort of get that edge on playing their game first will most likely, you know, set it up properly. As we see MC, Rupert both be able to take themselves a seat. Man, Rupert's hair is so nice. Sucks that Rupert's got a practice set against Falco right before this. <laughs> okay, it wasn't a practice set, it was bracket, but like, <laughs> still, that's that's kind of fucked up. We're actually going to get ourselves back into it. There's, uh, oh, that one there. That's what I'm after. <laughs> Face Falco, man. Early damage to be done by both. They want to set their own styles early. The question is, who is sort of going to take that lead? You know, it's whoever that first stock is sort of going to go towards. As we see Rupert, he's struggling to play that patient game. This is good from MC. He's a little bit more reserved than what we saw from him yesterday. We'll be kept off that stage. Rupert will take that first stock. We'll take that first stock here. There's MC. You know, we're seeing a completely different person than what we saw yesterday, and that's that's very good to see, I'll be honest. And as we eventually will see Rupert, he'll have to make his way back to stage. He gets back, but we'll be flung off MC. We'll take that stock back. Still does have a stock down disadvantage. And for MC at the moment. Like, there's got to be. There's got to be something. In terms of... Uh, an opening that we see from both of them. Because we're seeing both of these players just play really passive towards each other. They're only taking those pressures when they get close enough to be able to take them. We're seeing them play very passive. Rupert goes headhunting and MC. Gonna be put under pressure there on the edge and will go down to his final stock. Rupert. We were just speaking about being able to find that pressure off, to the, off the back of, you know, playing a passive game as we see Rupert being able to find himself a huge huge sort of combo there to be able to get MC on towards that back foot putting him on towards that final stock there's now Rupert and it's his game to lose at the current moment and we're seeing MC continue to fight back continuing to do little bits of damage that's the type of stuff that you do love to see because we're going to be seeing MC now putting Rupert on towards that back foot but Rupert gets back on towards stage MC Still dancing around, that hyper-aggression is what we saw from him yesterday, and it's coming back into fruition today. There's a no contest. Does that count as a set? I don't know. I don't know. You can see has it in him. I don't know. Is that, I don't know if that counts as a set. We're going to have to work it out at the end. Yeah, he got some unlucky interactions. That's true. He did get some unlucky interactions. But also, I think Rupert was able to, you know, take advantage of the fact that, you know, he was able to find himself a bit of success in a lot of those close quarters interactions. You know, there wasn't... Uh, all much that MC was doing that was, um, you know, special or was really trying to counter Rupert being passive and being, you know, firmly in control. Rupert's been playing it really well, being able to, you know, find his bits of control, being able to find his bits of damage where he can take them. And I think from MC at the moment, playing really aggressive on this first stock is sort of working out for him quite well. And at the moment, especially with MC sort of maintaining domination in towards this first this first um, stock. He's maintaining a lot of control here. Rupert, he's really struggling to keep himself alive and will eventually lose that first stock, but a high percentage onto MC. This needs to be a clean stock trade. 
Hey, Tish. How are you, man? Rupert MC, it's actually been a really good game. It's actually been a really good game. I'm, I'm not sure if first set counted because it said no contest, and so I don't know... Oh, what? Don't know what that means. Like, MC was on last stock, he went below the stage, and it just said no contest. Oh, no, that, that counts. Oh, that counts? Beaut. For Rupert. Beaut. I didn't know. This is my first melee event. I, I no, I, 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 going I, on, I could tell. <laughs> you, you could tell? Yeah, I could tell. What do you mean That's you could right. tell? Don't worry about it, man. No, it's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. Don't worry about it, man. Alright, I gotta ask slash am I the asshole for you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the set, alright? I'm here for the set. I did that bit to Aiden last night when he was drunk as shit, during doubles. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we had like a genuine five minute chat about it. Oh, yeah, he's, he's very earnest. That's, 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 his, that's his deal. I was like, this is a great bit. <laughs> it, was, it, was fucking, it, was good, it was a fucking good bit. It was a good bit. I think, at least in terms of skill level, I think Rupert is probably favored. It is me, Jake. It is too short. Is it, is, have you done weed with this guy as well? I have not done weed with this guy. You haven't done marijuana with just Scalpy? I have not done marijuana with Scalpy. Would you like to do marijuana with just Scalpy? I mean, shit. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, MC. MC's is cooking. dominating. He's cooking at the moment. It's true. MC's a, a good player. Yeah. I like MC. If you notice, that's J Nuts, J Nuts behind Rupert's camera. Who's J Nuts? Falco player. You know Birdhouse? No. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> sorry. Oh, do you know who Inz is? <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, when I just started naming Counter Strike players, yeah, the fuck I got it. Uh, Eps, that you is know not. Who Mungo is? <laughs> I know Mungo. Yeah, Leo. We all know Mungo. There is. We all know Mungo. <laughs> yeah, that is not Keys. Introduce yourself to Harry Eps. Is that Keys? No, it's not. I'm not Keys. I'm flamboyant. I'm a commentator, bro. Flamboyant. I'm flamboyant. Rupert gets sort of diced up in that one, I'm not <laughs> gonna lie. Get up. MC just dominated. Like, I did call that this one was gonna go to five AP, uh, it was gonna go to five games. It's true. Um, both of these players have not been playing the game a lot at all. I think they've only come down here because of the major. I mean, but I think Rupert's been, Rupert's been playing uh, uh, better. Not More better, like, has not played the game a shorter amount, if that makes sense. Because I think MC's has not been playing the game for a while, and Rupert's not as long. So Rupert's break has been shorter than MC's yes, break. Yes. Yeah, uh, shout out uh, Lovesick Dreams. That's Rupert's band. Is he in a band? Yeah. He does look like a music guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is he like a guitarist? No, he's like... Basically before he got the band, he was everything. Like, he made all, like, all the bits. Like, <laughs> music. But... He made all the music. Yeah, so and he invented music. And like, you need you when you want to play a gig, you obviously need other players. They don't. Ah, I guess you don't. You don't. Man, never mind. No, that's that's dumb. Ah, yeah, get that, get, you know, get those repeating pedals. <laughs> and shit. It's true. I have another friend who also does <laughs> that, but their music is a lot more um, experimental. <laughs> Definitely compared to Rupert's. Yeah, Rupert's shout out to Lovesick Dreams. Shout out Lovesick Dreams. Um, and shout out to Birdhouse for MC and J Nuts. Yeah, we love J-Nuts. Um, shout out to uh, MC for just getting fucking diced in that. Holy shit. What are you, what are you doing here? I'm just enjoying, man. I'm just yeah? enjoying having fun. Who, who's, who's the link? Huey. Huey's the link. That Huey's makes sense. Link. Yeah. I got drunk one night and Huey was like... Um, me and Huey just started talking to GG Easy. Do you remember that bar? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm new here as well. You're new here as well? Yeah. So who's your link? No, as in like new to Vic. Oh, new to Vic. Yeah. I, got, I, oh, okay. So you've actually been playing this game. This yeah, I have. I have been playing this game. <laughs> who, who is your man? Uh, Doctor Mario. You saw me play yesterday. I did see you play yesterday. You saw me play against Look, Ludelli, the shy we master. Were, we were arguing if Doctor Mario was actually a doctor, <laughs> <laughs> instead wow. of watching your set. <laughs> Stop jumping down it. the fucking stairs. Kids, kids these days. Kids these days, no man. No respect. I've got Fucking get the belt out! Fucking definitely was an ultimate player. I think definitely an ultimate player. He looks too young to be a melee player. Say that for sure. Rupert's like 21. 
Rupert's 21. Yeah, but Rupert's cool. Rupert is cool. <laughs> Rupert's, Rupert's cool. tight. <laughs> Rupert's sick. And Sumi. I don't know if you know Sumi. I do know Sumi. Sumi is currently playing goody to get into top 8. I did say that in bracket. Sumi's and I was like, And Sumi's 20. Sumi's 20. Yes. Yeah, but Sumi's cracked. So Sumi is cracked. I'm just naming like young players. You're naming young players? Yeah. Well, do you know that Huey's like 30? <laughs> Huey is like 30. That's like that's like Huey's one old. one of the reasons I don't like him. <laughs> no, you don't like Huey? <laughs> no, I'm a fan. Huey's tight. I love Beef you. Beef with my goat? No, no, Huey's tight. I love you. <laughs> but who else do I know here? I know Sock. Because he was on Mind Freak and I made it with well, mates as a... I'm glad you said that. Man, this is a, Cause uh, we'll leave it at that, okay? Uh, we'll I leave it at that. I'm talking, I'm talking about MJ, the owner of Mind Freak. <laughs> oh, I hate that guy. But, not a fan of Sock? We'll continue. I don't want this document. <laughs> 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 I'm just trying to bait you for content. Yeah, I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't want this document. You're a smart guy, man. You're a smart guy. <laughs> It's just, it's just not updated. Nah, it's fucking broken. It's broken. We'll have to reset it. Bing, 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 bing. Oh well. Rupert's up. Rupert is up 2-1 to one at the current moment. It looks like he could potentially even take 3. Um. Alright. Oh, it's Jacob Rizal. Jacob! I like that guy. You like that guy? Yeah. You fuck with him? Stop jumping down the stairs! Cloudy! Man. This guy's a fuck out of me, Kyle. Okay, it's just not updating. It's just not updating. It's just not updating. This is a hood classic, Cindy. This is a, this is a hood classic. This is a hood classic. This is, the streets are going to know about this one. The streets <laughs> the streets are going to know about this. The streets are going to know about this. The streets are going to know about this, man. The streets are going to know. That's a young jit in there. That's Rupert, my guy. <laughs> MC could get four stopped. <laughs> yeah. Oh, MC could get four stopped. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this could be dangerous. Oh no, Rupert will eventually lose his first yeah, yeah. stock, but... MC back against the wall. Top 46, 48? No, I can't read. Yeah, this is losers this top something. This loses something? This loses something, This yeah. probably loses something. Yeah. Do you reckon back against the wall you could beat a bear in hand-to-hand -hand combat? Uh, no chance. You reckon? Yeah, no, no chance. You reckon no chance? No chance. No chance at all? No, I think that bear, bears are just... A Better. What animal do you think you could beat in hand to hand combat if you had to? Any dog. I'm staying away from that one. Any dog. I'm staying away from that one. I'm getting cancer if I talk about that. That's a 3 a three 1 win for Rupert. 3 1 over Rupert. <laughs> yeah, MC. I think that's all of Birdhouse. Is that all of Birdhouse? Gone. Is it every Falco gone? Yeah. That's fucked up. And Wreck. You know, Ricky? No. That's 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 Ricky. There he is. That's Ricky. Good shit. That's I'll, my guy. Ricky. I, I was shouting out lovesick dreams by the way. <laughs> we were having a great chat about music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fun sets, fun sets to watch. And we broke fucking Oh, we broke Kai's shit. We're gonna get yelled at. It's fine, it's fine. We're, is it's Dr. Mario a real doctor? What counts as real? Has a degree as a doctor. Oh, fuck. What are you clicking through, man? I'm trying to find... Yeah. Oh! It updated. What did I tell you? See, that's Birdhouse right there. Birdhouse is conglomerating. It is so real. It's J-Nuts, Rec, go. MC. We fixed it. We fixed it. We fixed it. We fixed it. <coughs> I was going to yell Birdhouse, but... Did you just want to for the meme? No, I was going to yell at them. Cause no, just do it. Just do it. Be loud and proud. Be loud and proud, Doc. Be loud and proud, Doctor. Yeah. You gotta be loud and proud, Doctor. So, have you just been sat here waiting for people to play you? Yeah. And this is the best gig of all time. That's you. That is me. Me and Loz. Loz, yeah. Me and Loz. Roz is a cool guy, right? Roz is a cool guy. Loz is tight. I fuck with Roz. I like, I like Loz. I fuck with Roz. And that, that one's also me. Yeah, it's funny because, like, if you think about this, right, this yeah. is borrowed by somebody. This is mine. That's yours. You gave the PC yeah. to the Kai. Kai has borrowed my PC. Have you no shame, sir? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> have you have no not shame, at all. sir? Not at all. 
I literally yeah. completely forgot about these stickers. Birdhouse. Birdhouse. <laughs> Big fan of Birdhouse. Big fan of... <laughs> Big fan of Birdhouse. Big fan of Birdhouse. Ricky did not like that. Did not like that. Didn't uh, like it at all. I think he got beef with you now. But yeah, Can I literally... Can we put on Alien Bird? Alien Bird? Yeah. <laughs> what? You don't know Alien Bird? No. You gotta catch up. You gotta catch up. What do you mean up I gotta catch up? On the melee law. On the melee law. Alright, tell me the melee law then. Birdhouse is like... Uh, you know MC the guy? I know MC the guy, yes. That's his combo video. Alien bird. So it's just a frag movie. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll, it's I'll just put a it, frag I'll put movie. <laughs> yeah, but it's got significance, alright? It's got culture. <laughs> Every frag movie has culture. No, it doesn't, dude. Yes, it does. Motherfuckers quickscoping in COD. Oh shit, they're back. Rupert's back. Rupert just loves our setup. Oh, and he's got the Canadian. This is, hey, this is an international war here. It's true. This is dangerous for Rupert. Rupert the UN... Aiden. The UN might get involved here. The United Nations might get involved. <coughs> Bless you. you know Rupert, this bracket? So, Calvin did come from just beating Monkey, who beat him in doubles yesterday, and then in losers, Calvin and Yingo beat Monkey and Decker in doubles, then got to main stage, and then got stomped by SA Nick and Goody. <laughs> um... With the Monkey Aiden set. With the Monkey Aiden set? The Monkey Aiden... Monkey actually won the pre-local. He won the shlokal? Uh, against Aiden. Uh, yeah, that checks out. Aiden would have been jet-lagged to fuck. Calvin. 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 That's a red sheik. Yeah, that's why I'm putting in red sheik. You've written... Sheik Ed. Okay, you're making fun of me because I have a disability. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know how practiced Rupert is, to be honest, against a sheik. It looks like he's just throwing. He's throwing, yeah. That's fucked up. It's the red set. That's fucked up. Red set. The who's, red set? Who's redder? They're talking about the pillow. I'm actually kind of curious about his question. They're talking about the pillow. They're talking about the pillow. They're talking about the pillow. Is Aiden pulling up the rule book going, Is the pillow legal? No, no. <laughs> I think I think Aiden wants a pillow. Does Aiden want a pillow? Aiden, Aiden wants the pillow. I, I'm going to pitch him something. <laughs> I'll lie across his lap and beat his pillow. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm going to pitch him something. I'm soft. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my water bottle? Shit. <laughs> Fuck. We've lost the water bottle, Chad. Oh, I know where it is. You know where it is? It's at the setup. It's at the setup. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Laws. I lost to Nick. You lost to Nick? Yeah, I say Nick. Yeah, that's, that's my unlucky. bad. That's unlucky. You should have won that. It was a it was a close 3-0, Laws. You win those. It was a close 3-0. You win those. Yeah, it was... Again, it was close 3-0. The doctor just... Didn't doctor hard enough. It's true. And close three over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice of you to let him win. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he seemed pretty upset after losing to Yosh, you know. So I don't know. Yeah, I just don't yeah. know. I mean, on. look, it was getting to the point of where it might be assault, you know. Are these guys going to play or they're going to just talk? They love the pillow. <laughs> Are they uh, sharing pillows? What's up with this pillow talk? Damn, I was going to... I was gonna pitch him Mogul Moves Pillow. Think about that. They'll make millions. The Mogul Moves Pillow? They'll make millions. Well, like, what? Moist, got the moist Pillow. Moist Pillow. <laughs> moist Pillow. Moist Pitical. That's it. Moist That's Pitical. That's it. That's it. Oh, they released something called a Moist Pitical, and it's just an olive pitter. Loz, when are you getting here, by the way? <laughs> and you too, Scalpy. What the fuck? We could have. It's past lunchtime. You know what we could have? The Mogul Moves Waifu Collection. Where they just release waifu stickers. Big titty anime waifu stickers. So, like, you, can, so you can put so it, up, I can put put it more, on your, so I can put more on your on my PC computer. setup. Dude, I have a water bottle that I just carry around. Because like... 
Okay, I I work for Gridiron Victoria. So American football American for football, yeah. Victoria. Uh, and they're off. <laughs> and they're off, thank <laughs> god. I have a water bottle that I bring only to football events that is just covered in those stickers. I do it because I just think it's funny. Everyone looks at me like I'm a weird kind of I'm like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why they're looking like I'm weird. But <laughs> I, th I think you know. I'm fully aware. I just think it's funny. Nicholas, this is a perfectly normal time to have lunch, okay? It's 1 p.m. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. That's lunch time. for dinner, bro. You're getting, you're getting a tattoo, Scalpy? Oh! What tattoo are you getting, Scalpy? Dr. Mario stock icon. Dr. Mario stock icon. Dr. Mario stock icon. Yeah, Rachel looked at it like when you guys left and just went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, we got 40 viewers now. 40 Cause viewers! Because people are actually playing the game. Because people, yeah, because we got Calvin and Rupert playing instead of r slash yeah. am I the asshole and r slash meth shit. Holy posting. world. Oh shit. Uh, we got an ad. What's your favorite subreddit? You know, Sissy Hypno. R slash fanboys. You can't say that. What's up? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Starting. R slash fanboys. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lars. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, to be honest, I only learned what that was because of Lou, and I fucking Googled it. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> oh, don't sue me. No, no, sue me will get so upset at me. Don't say that, please. <laughs> oh. I thought you had an ad. That's why I was, that's why I was so <laughs> confident to say it. I thought you had an ad. <laughs> Top tier content, I'll be honest. <laughs> no shit. Rupert. Oh, holy shit! I mean, Rupert's slicing back and up. Rupert is. Okay, I know it's. That was a bit of a grimace from Aiden. I, I think Rupert might be extradited back to Canada after this. This is a Wrong big guy. Day. Huh? You said Rupert. Rupert. Yep. That's He's Rupert. going to Canada to get arrested for killing Calvin. No, that's too many layers. That's too many that's layers. That's too many steps for the joke. You don't fuck with Julian Assange? That's that's too many. No, that guy's chill. Like you fuck guy. with you fuck. Yeah, that guy's chill. What are your thoughts that on guy's, that guy's a straight chill? What are your thoughts on whistleblowing laws and how they continue to be disregarded? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rupert. Uh, Rupert, one zero. Oh. I mean, you can't beat homegrown talent. <laughs> you can't beat homegrown talent. It's true. Rupert grew up in Victoria's backyard. He can do with Victoria as he pleases. I don't understand why people keep running down the stairs. Well, like, like, look, I know it's like six stairs, but can we fucking, like... It's pretty steep, though. Like, they're just not. They're, they're just steep. stairs. They're just normal stairs, man. They're just normal, man. Just normal fucking stairs, cunt. Fucking... <laughs> <coughs> yeah. I mean, hey, Aiden's at least <laughs> fighting. It's true. <laughs> I mean, I mean, just in this the first game looked pretty Rupert. It was, yeah. yeah. But second yeah. game, Aiden's looking like he's taking a little bit of control yeah, back. He wants to shift that momentum. Yeah, but he yeah. wants to shift back the momentum. It's true. Can't wait to hear about his set hit on Breakout Podcast, patreon.com slash watch slash the yard podcast. That was brain rot. That was actual brain rot. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to be the same after that. I, hope, I don't think I'm going to be the same after that. Is this a hard matchup? I think it is a hard matchup. Is this a real match? Okay. Uh, you, the way you were walking around made me think that they were just playing for fun. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, what? Well, so, I mean, ooh, Aiden. He would yeah, be yeah, losing the edge that he had, especially off the back of that okay. first stock. Uh, I'm off, I'm gonna go get food. Alright, bye Tish. Sorry. Go have some fun getting a feed. Thank you for joining me in r slash fanboys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that guy. He's funny. This is funny, bro. Aim in AirPods. Be Rupert friendly, he'd be so fire. The winner of this place, sue me for top 8? Yes. The winner of this place, sue me for top 8, so I don't think any of them go any further than this. <laughs> but Abedim McCabedim, 1-0 down in terms of games as 
Rupert eventually going to be sending Aiden to the netherworld as two stocks apiece. Rupert. He's looking to have all of the momentum at the moment. Aiden needs to try and find something back. Got Calvin. This is Bracket. Sid, my friend. Sid. A pleasure. Pleasure. Heaps. Flam. Flam. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, it's Rupert. Oh, it's Rupert and Calvin. Rupert's up a game. It's been a very close sort of matchup. Well, and I'm surprised that more people don't know about this because it was like the most amount of people today were watching uh, Calvin versus Monkey just before. I did Went see to that. a banger game five. I did see that. Did you get the storyline of Monkey beat Calvin in doubles yesterday? Sing, uh, and singles at the Preach local as well. And singles at the Preach local, and then Calvin comes back and beats Monkey in the doubles. That's and right. loses. And then <laughs> gets all the way back to main stage, and then Monkey's in the dumps because he's dog shit. I mean, so like, he's just <laughs> <laughs> He's here to support. He's here to support. He's here to support, support, he's here to support uh, Rupert. Rupert. Support Australia. <laughs> Oh, we're going to be seeing Calvin taking his first game. 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, you love to see it. Hey, Darby. <laughs> Heaps mentioned Pog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the most viewers we've had all weekend, and it's 41, so we're doing quite well for ourselves at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rupert just playing, laying on a lot of pressure here. Doesn't look like Calvin's able to get out of the corner, but Alleggi gets him out of trouble. Back into it. Man, Rupert can press buttons fast. He can. He's been... We saw his set against MC before. Um, we've sort of just been watching Rupert the entire bracket. <laughs> yeah, true. He's like, oh, I'm just going to bring whoever I'm playing to this setup so I can stream all my games. <laughs> 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 but like, I respect that. <laughs> Um, but he's been he's been pretty good. We saw him. I, I had I, when I when I was looking at Bracken, I saw it was Rupert versus MC. I, I spoke to Aiden. I was like, I, I actually have Rupert over MC. Yeah. Uh, like I, I sat there and I was like, oh, we saw MC yesterday. He played pretty aggressive. We saw Rupert yesterday. He was pretty passive. You know, he was more worried about landing the hit than actually trying to throw out a like a flurry of hits. And it worked right, out right, right, really picking their spots. Yeah. Picking his spots. Yeah. Oh, this should be Dami. Oh, went for a down air, but the hitbox wasn't uh, wide enough. Oh. Good grab and good pummel. One thing that I've noticed about Aiden over this weekend is that his tech chases are fucking awesome. You're going to have to explain to me what that is, because this is my first melee event. <laughs> 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 so when you throw, he's going to down throw, and then Rupert's going to get knocked down on his back, and he's going to roll one side or the other side. Yeah. All right? Um, and Aiden, Calvin, can yeah. predict which way Rupert's going to roll, either left, right, or in spot. Okay, all right. That, that checks out now. <laughs> yeah, so it's like... As soon as somebody gets knocked onto their back, yeah. that's that time. That's money time for the other the other person. That's when the combo starts. Yeah. And that's called uh, in, in ultimate terms, it's disadvantage, right? Yeah. Here it's tech chasing. Tech chasing or disadvantage? Yeah. When you're uh, in the corner, but it, yeah, it's definitely a disadvantage. Oh my word! That was a sneaky out. forward air. Boy. Is uh, Aiden going to take it all the way to the bank here? Rupert can't get out of this corner. And that's probably a math killer. Rinse and repeat. Not quite. Rupert's got another chance at life. Gets back up. Calvin. A bit of a pummel. Eventually sends him flying. Rupert wasn't able to get in any extra damage there, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah. But that's still good work from Aiden to be able to punish and take advantage of a Rupert when you know he's struggling to sort of keep himself going. He had all Calvin had all the momentum in that situation. It took your advantage to get it back to two to two, pretty much even. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, really uh, commanded the stage, made sure they were centering himself in the middle of the stage, pushing Rupert into the corner and taking advantage from there. Oh, shield grab! That's a uh, dog move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are we seen Rupert playing cringe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We did actually see in the player game. Oh! Go back and watch. Calvin did cringe, and he just shook his head then again, so we'll see if Calvin can okay, bring Cal himself back. Calvin did just get very unlucky. <laughs> 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 so I can understand why he's shaking his head. Oh. Another 
another grab. All right, that's going to be Calvin evening it up. It's down to final stocks here. For series, oh, for, for series point? Well, for yeah, this either is of these? Counter pick advantage, right? So the person's going to uh, get their choice in stage and they're all important game five. But it comes to that. Rubus stacking on damage pretty fast. Oh, and he's going head hunting. No, no. Rupert's able to keep himself alive only just, but Calvin now looks to do damage. Starts to pummel Rupert as Rupert barely trying to keep himself on the stage as is as Calvin continues to grab. Rupert will eventually fall off. Calvin will take the 2-1 lead. With a charged up smash as well. And it was so unfortunate because we saw Rupert on the ledge there. Ledge dashing to the middle of the stage. And then throw out a, uh, a wily down smash, right? And if that tippers, that's going to kill off the top. But it's not covering, like, so many moves. Especially when you see the uh, Sheik in the middle of the stage. So, um, yeah. That I was crazy. Not sure what Rupert really saw there. And it didn't pay off, I'll tell you that. Oh, that was crazy. Bro, this game's fucking fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you start playing it, man. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not qu I don't have the eyes quick enough to be able to play this game. But you should start <laughs> commentating on the reg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I commentate Counter-Strike all the time. And it's like, I don't understand what the fuck's happening in that game either. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little bit easier to follow because there's no like, camera changes, right? You've just got the box. Yeah, it's true. Get them out of the box. Rupert finding the down air there. All important smash the eye. Not getting hit by Aiden Calvin. Wasn't able to find the uh, stage or take and a miss ledge Whoa! as well that's counting down two stocks and Rupert only has 13 percent hmm. Rupert could be making up for what was a lost set for that last set Calvin desperate trouble here Rupert needs to take advantage he can't allow Calvin to get back into this and force this to a game five patient patient Calvin's playing the, the long game Standing stoically, just pushing Rupert into that corner, trying to get some type of advantage here. Rupert's found a grab though. Oh, huge from Rupert. Oh, I just missed. As Calvin will now do the uh, cheeky edge guarding to try and get rid of Rupert, but Rupert not going anywhere. And when you see if somebody uh, roll into the corner there and put up a, a light shield, which is that big. Yeah, long, big, lighter shield. Yeah. That's called the uh, the Marth Killer. Um, and it's uh, something that normally works against Marth that they're forced to go onto stage. And then you can rinse and repeat from there. Huge. Rupert just takes another stock. We're going to see Calvin on his last stock. Yep. And at this point, I mean, you can try, you can fight against Rupert, but I don't know. This matchup, you're going to you're gonna find yourself getting a few trades, a bit of damage in between the stocks, in between the combos. Do you believe in Miracles Heap? Uh, multiple. I'm, I'm, I'm not just one heap, I'm multiple heaps. Well, multiple heaps, sorry. Um, I just heard you the first time, my bad. I'm nah, sorry. that's alright, that's alright. I don't believe. You don't believe in miracles? Believe in miracles. Thank God you didn't believe, because Calvin couldn't, couldn't make it happen. Game five. Game five, this is where it gets fun. This is where it's all on the line for all the marbles, all the beans. And this is what I was talking about, counter pick advantage. So this was Aiden's stage to pick. Yeah. So will they squeak out the, um, the advantage with the stage pick? I'm not too certain. These low platforms can come in handy for Marth. Although Aiden's got something to say about that. A sneaky needle, Marth killer, rinse and repeat, down air. Rupert can keep himself in it. He's definitely going to, but without landing a single hit so far, Calvin has all of the momentum. Oh, Calvin opting not to go for the forward air there, really cognizant of the of the platform height and waiting for the tech roll from Rupert and really punishing getting the kill at the end there. Yeah, this Sheik's pretty cool. He started a podcast with a few of his friends. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that in chat. I'm like, sure he funny. has something to say. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like he's got really good insight into what's current world political events. <laughs> <laughs> now, tilt, no, or forward smash. Rupert's a better player than I am, I can tell you that. Down to three stocks apiece. Okay, Aiden pushing, pushing, pushing. Playing the patient game, not going too deep. Deep with the dash attack, it did pay off. Sometimes it can be a bit dodgy dash attacking into the corner because if you whiffs, then you're giving your opponent all of the stage. Here comes Calvin. Oh, big damage. 
Rupert will get punished for it. Calvin, a stock up. A clean stock. Here comes Rupert, though. Rupert needs his stock as clean as he can. Absolutely. And then that He's next one as well. Already in a, a crucial percent where most things knock down and most things will start to combo. Oh, Rupert's gone. That's going to be tough. Rupert has to get this kill very fast and maybe a gimp to be able to seal this one out. There it goes. That's probably a dead sheik. Yep. That's huge. But Calvin, one clean stock up. Exactly. And for Rupert at the moment, you know, the homegrown hero needs a little bit of a miracle to potentially force the international all the way back home as for Rupert at the moment it looks like it's sort of been the, the tale of the entire series where he just really hasn't been able to find consistent momentum he's been able to find flashes here and there he's been able to get himself you know those really quick one to two minutes where he has all of the control but Calvin immediately will take it right back and Rupert he sort of needs it at the moment. And that's the plight of this matchup, the Sheik Marth matchup. Sometimes you can't stay on top of things. And Aiden with a little mini plat pop off, slapping the knee. Well deserved. Game five. I thought it would have been bigger than that, that little pop off there. But um, yeah, Aiden's going to move on. That was a loser's set, so that does mean Rupert is out of the competition. I think at 13th. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Oh, uh, no. Now we've got Aiden Calvin with a chance to make it into top eight loser's side if they win their next match. So whoever's there. Uh, I don't actually have my phone. No, I do have It'll my phone. It'll be Sumi. Yeah, yeah. Sumi, yes, you're they right. They play Sumi. Yep, 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 yep. Sumi and Goody, because Sumi beat Goody. Um, uh, sorry, Goody beat Sumi, goes to top eight, and then Sumi will come down here and we'll play uh, this one from memory. Oh, I could I be know. wrong, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't make brackets for a living. <laughs> 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 I could be really wrong because that's the matchup that we yeah, had just AB. there. Yeah, AB. So loser of AB. Yeah. Yep. So that was Sumi. Oh, Goody's already taken that one. From what I know, I think it was Goody. Makes sense. Goody's a very it good does. player. It does. It does make sense. Both are very good. <laughs> <laughs> Both are very good. Both are very good indeed. But uh, yeah, that that Aiden Calvin guy, he's kind of nice with it. Very nice with it. This, this is your nice first melee it. competition. Who bought you? How Huey. Did you? Who? Huey. Oh. Yeah. So I was I'm mates with Huey, and he was like, oh, come down. I know you cast Counter-Strike. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then um, I just originally came down to watch, and then Kai was like, oh, I need a PC. And I'm like, yeah, right. I'll lay my PC. I'll lay my peripherals, whatever. Okay. Cool. And then I came down, and then Kai was like, oh, I've got games. And I'm like, okay, I'll cover for you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was it was sat here for like 10 hours yesterday, just like, oh, this is kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of fun to just talk shit into a mic and watch Melee. Getting, uh, getting into the weeds of the game by uh, just trial by the, fire, yeah, I guess. Just right into the, the deep end. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I may as well, why not? It's good fun. It is a great run by Aiden Calvin and Fruit Yo. It is a good run. It is a good run. It is a good run. Especially because the pre-schlocal, they rocked up late, DQ'd out of winners, got sent straight to losers, didn't have a warm-up, got sent out by Monke. You know. Yeah, that's rough. It is a little bit rough. Because what, MV and 19 Rats got DQ'd from pools. Because they just didn't rock up. Oh, yeah. And then they were all just like, oh, we'll just money match people. And so we are having 19 Rats just money match four or five different people on this setup yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I like, did see, oh, I, I walked past 19 Rats um, money matching Warame. Warame. I, I think. I Captain Falcon from, um, from Queensland. Yeah. Yeah. How'd that go? Warame won. Okay, because 19 Rats lost a lot of money last night. <laughs> they got a lot of experience, I guess. A lot of experience, not a lot of cash. <laughs> <laughs> Who Oops. else? I remember somebody was going around trying to money match every single American. Who was that? Uh, it was Garfield, the puff player from that uh, checks ACT. Out. That on checks the, out. In the, um, the salty suite on Thursday. Did you go to that as well? Yeah, I was casting the end of that. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. I was on the tail end of that with... Um, Adalia and Huey at one point. All right. Like the very end. And yeah, we were just casting Garfield and Calvin just going at it. And it was it was pretty fun. It was good. Yeah. It was, good, it was a good watch. It was a good watch. Garfield's kind of nice with it. Garfield is nice with it. Garfield's Made it nice top 48. It. Did she? She did. Huge. I need to check where Garfield plays then. 
I think um, they got uh, their first. They would have come out into losers. Yeah. Uh, and their first match DQ'd, I think. Bit sundowns. S- sundowns, and then Microsoft and then lost J. To Microsoft J. Got a game. Got a game. <laughs> yeah. That's huge. It is huge. You go further next time. That's the plan. I thought we were doing Counter Strike. You you go. You go into like second round bracket and you lose. You got to go further next time. Otherwise, you just break the team up. Wait a minute. <laughs> So, no, as a, as a <laughs> personal goal, you've got to go further next So, round. in Counter-Strike, yeah. it's a usual trend of if you get to second round in an open qual, the next open qual, you have to get the third, otherwise the team will break up. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> that's a tradition. It happens a lot. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> it happens way too often. Because, well, I played in a team where we lost in first round and we immediately broke the team up. Um... The team who beat us lost in second round and then immediately broke the team up because they lost in second in the previous qualifier. And so that event just became a team killer because everyone just kept losing. Yeah. Everyone's like, I don't want to play anymore. (laughs) There's this thing that uh, forming a team, there's like five stages of forming the team, right? Yeah. There's forming, coming up with the members, right? Yep. Uh, Storming. uh, Forming, storming. Performing. Adjoining. Anyway. And then death. <laughs> and then death, whatever it is. But the second stage, the storming stage, where yeah. everyone's kind of like figuring each other out. Not yeah. a lot of teams make it past there. Yeah. And that goes to like business and I guess gaming as well, right? Yeah. It's like doubles partners, I imagine. Doubles partners? I'd imagine. Yeah, That's you like got to fill it out. There's a few good doubles teams here, though. I, I saw Tid Rollick, which is a Samus. Tid Rollick were good. Oh, we, Samus, we, um, got the, we got one of their games last night. I was like, yeah, God did you? Damn. Here. Yeah. Oh, man. It's like, God damn. Those guys have They're such cooking. good team synergy. They were cooking. I think, I think they lost. It's oh, Tid just running know. around, being being a stoic Samus, and Rollick playing support for most of it. Yeah. Um. And, yeah, the spacing that those guys had, the control of stage that they had. It was yeah. fun to watch. It was fun. It was just fun to watch doubles. As much as I'm, I'm sitting there, just like there's so much fucking happening right now. It's chaotic. <laughs> I'm like, there's so much happening For right real. now. It's chaotic as shit. Can I please just, what the fuck? <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was fun once I you know had gotten used to the speed and everything. And I'm like, oh, this is enjoyable. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Very yep. enjoyable. But yeah, it's uh, it's been good. We, not not a lot happens on this stream. Not a lot has been happening because we just don't we don't get any tournament games. And we oh, just they sit just here. <laughs> <laughs> we just sit here. <laughs> we just shit here. Sh- we just sit here shoot the shit. Oh damn! That's all we've been doing like the the whole weekend. I bought a <laughs> whole uh, ten pack of VBs ready for uh, tournament. Good man. good man. Yep. Good man. Thank you. Very good man. I'm proud of you. <coughs> I'm always proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. sweet. Oh, Kai's going to get us a game. Thank God. <laughs> Kai looking fire today as well. She's yeah. got her best trip on. He's looking very fashionable, I will admit. And winning, too. Yep. And winning. Looking good. Dispatching the competition. Ron said That's they Kai's did pretty way. well against Kai. <coughs> Maybe took a game. Uh, XP or Romley. I don't know what he's going by these days. How you going, Kai? What do you got? Lost to Yoshi's. You still... Have you played Yosh yet? Uh, yeah, I just lost to Tracer. It wasn't too bad. Ah. I like it. I like it. Sounds like it would be a good game. And then after this, is everything moving to main stage, or...? Sorry? Is everything moving to main stage after this, or...? Is everything moving to main stage after this, or no? I mean, let me see. Because I imagine top eight would be all on main. I guess I'll just... So, this is happening right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'll just ask... Cool. That Sumi Calvin game is going to be so good. Yep. I wouldn't blame you if you just walked off and watched that one. I, I wouldn't blame you at all. <laughs> I do want to yell Aussie, Aussie, Aussie over the crowd just to try to tilt Calvin a little bit. Oh, Not yeah. that I, I like Aiden. 
Oh, I love him. I he's mean, been who doesn't? Funny. He's, he's been funny. He's a, he's a good, he's a cool <laughs> guy. But like, also, Australia. Australia, yeah. <laughs> Australia. Yeah. Not gonna cheer for your own. You gotta cheer team? for your own country. You gotta your cheer for your own country. Because we have that in Counter Strike. We have a conglomerate of fans called Row F, where they all get drunk and they all start chants in Australian Counter Strike events, and often we'll fight with security. So yeah, it's like we've got to get them down to an event like this. So I came up in the European um, Smash scene. Oh. Um, and the the Irish guys are <laughs> the best people to have in your corner. It seems like they just get drunk and then just be good fun. They get drunk, they're good fun, and they're like, just like as a culture, very poetic with yeah. their with their <laughs> with language. Their, yep. And they'll, there's <laughs> one particular fella um, who comes up with um with like like little ditties or limericks that he'll chant to a, over over the whole crowd and the whole Irish team will uh, every Irish up. person will get get yeah. behind him that's massive that's huge yeah so yeah a lot of shit talk from those guys uh, but funny. they don't fight security yeah well, that's boring yeah because often security are like you're not allowed to swear fuck and we're that. like what the fuck <laughs> 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 we had a chant that was like there's no more children swearing. here yeah <laughs> we, they, that, they would say there's children here and we'd be like there's a sign out front that says it's over 18s only and they go no <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> what the fuck do you mean no <laughs> shit you're breaking reality on me right now buddy (laughs) it's so brutal to just like be a part of because like I lead row F in half their chance oh Oh, hedge hey RNG no it's gonna be cookbook and hobo okay cookbook and hobo cookbook from from New Zealand wait is that the fella with the mo yeah that hobo is the guy with the mo oh maybe maybe not He's got to be. No, the guy you're thinking of is um, Jada. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the mic goat. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. We have a ice climbers main? Yes. Okay. Uh, from New Zealand. Cookbook. From New Zealand. Uh, yeah. Well, so, no Australians here. No more. we got to cheer for our little brother country, though. We do have to... Yeah, we've got to cheer for the little brother. Um, hope he does something. Oh... We gotta cheer for the little brother. Yeah, it's top sixteen. Yeah. Oh, I'll move that over. Ooh. Hi, Josh. We do, if Hoborg's from the States, we have to change that to USA from memory. And then we've got to wait to see what they play. <coughs> yeah. How do you update? Uh, if you just change it and press that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, Hoborg. This loogie. This guy was in my um, pool. Did you, how'd you go in your pool? Uh, lost to this guy, and so did Rolik. Um, this person is very good at the Peach uh, matchup, and probably good at most floaties, I imagine. So, uh, yeah, cookbooks... Uh, Are ice climbers considered floaties? Uh, yep, yeah, if you're not um, a fast faller, so combo-able, combo-able yeah. then you're most likely a floaty, right? Okay, so that's like Jigglypuff, Peach... Yeah, even Martha's considered floaty. Martha's considered a floaty? Yeah, because okay. they don't um, fall fast. Um, okay. So, you know, if you were to up tilt a, a heavy character, they're going to start yeah. falling down <laughs> to the ground faster, which may- means you can combo multiple up tilts or you can combo yeah. you can combo them easier. Whereas floaty characters, you can hit... Oh, no. Maybe... I think this is hand warm-ups. Um, is it hand warm-ups? Yeah. He came back from that? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he made stage from that is crazy. Alright, this is hand warm-ups. Yes, over um, one of the bigger stages as well. That was 
wild. <laughs> but yeah, so like characters like Bowser, Donkey Kong would be seen as heavier. Yep. I'd imagine. Yep. Yeah. Captain Falcon, um, Fox, Falco, they all fast fall. Yeah. Um, but yeah, floaty characters are harder to combo because they just get hit away from you and they float yeah. and they take a while to come back down to stage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm learning. Because I learned the other day that everyone has different, like, gravities. Yep. I'm like, okay. <laughs> that seems like something that and Nintendo didn't need to do in 2001. <laughs> they didn't need to do a lot of things to this game. And it's just like some massive happy accident that it all kind of worked out. Other than wobbling, which is banned, so it's okay. Wobbling banned? Yep. You've heard about wobbling. I know about wobbling. I yeah. didn't know it was banned. Yeah, you're not allowed to wobble anymore, so you won't see wobbles as ice climbers where they just grab and continually hit you, but you will yeah. see something called a handoff, which is where they'll grab you and then throw you and then re-grab you and then do a whole bunch of different things. So it's just wobbling with extra steps, but it's um, you can mix it up and uh, the, the opponent has chances to uh, escape with particular DIs. Yeah. Directional influence. Which you know about, right? Directional influence. When you get hit... <laughs> <laughs> so, when you're getting comboed, it's not just like a, a, a traditional fighting game where you're just stuck wa waiting for the combo to stop. Yeah. Hoping yeah. you get a block or they stuff up. Yeah. You can actually decide ever so slightly where you're... where you get sent. Yeah. So if you hold up, you're going to go up more. If you hold out, you're going to go out more. So there's yeah. combo DI, escape from the combo, hold outward or survival DI, hold up and, and aim for the top right or top left corner of the, of the box yeah. so you don't get hit out of it. Yeah, all right. Okay, that makes sense. But I mean, look, with, with the ice climbers, right? Because, look, you remember the top 10 salty ice climber moments video? Yeah. Yeah, yeah all yeah. the wobbling in that. I was like, oh, that must just be like legal. Just don't be caught in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it got banned uh, a couple of years ago now. Yeah, oh, it. Alright, so what, they would have they just nerfed Ice Climbers. It did, but it also, Wobbling was holding Ice Climbers back, because most Ice Climbers were just going for the grab, yeah. and then if their Nana died, their, their secondary character died, some of them would just throw themselves off stage, because they didn't even bother yeah. playing the game without their without their secondary without the character. Second. Right? right? But now that Wobbling's banned, these Ice Climbers are innovating and coming up with new, fresh techniques, yeah. and there's a little bit of a resurgence. There was a dip with all the Wobbling Ice Climbers, yeah. but then some of the Ice Climbers that... Um, yeah, were not doing so well. All of a sudden, started doing well because all this new technology was starting to get developed. Oh, that's kind of sick, man. Yeah. Right, so it's like, yeah, okay. So because too many people were abusing a broken mechanic. Yep. Everyone just sort of overlooked that character, and then when that mechanic got abused, everyone was like, oh, okay, this is usable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh that's so clean. And yeah, this is pretty crazy because Cookbook is definitely somebody that you'd be looking out for to get to top eight. Yeah. Um, and this being a top eight qualifier, yeah, we, we can see these Americans. Oh, that was getting dangerously cl close to a wobble. I think we got the wrong characters. No? Wrong characters? I think. How do you mean? Like, is Cookbook Ice Climbers or is Hobo Ice Climbers? Oh, Cookbook's Ice Climbers. 100%. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, I just see Hobo just... Up and down in these fucking stats mashing. Um, so if you press a certain amount of buttons, um, yeah. you can escape the grab. Oh, okay. All right. Depending yeah. on your percent, if you have a lower percent, you can escape it easier. Yeah. So what they do is they'll um, I forget what it's called when you you wipe over all the buttons as fast as you can, so yeah. you can press as many buttons as fast as possible all to right. escape the grab. All right. Beautiful. Scrubbing. That makes sense. Oh, Probably it's scrubbing. Yeah, yeah, we'll call it scrubbing. We'll call it scrubbing. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it scrubbing. It makes it easy. <laughs> Talking about scrubbing, Hoborg is no scrub in this matchup. The floaty matchup takes looks like lead. Hoborg's got it down. Hoborg takes the early lead. You love to see it. But uh, we do need to support Cookbook here. So at least an Oceana brother can get in there. We got this Cookbook. Let's go, Cookbook. <laughs> This should be interesting. Because what, this is a much bigger stage? Yeah, and without the platforms. Yeah. Um, so a lot of Ice Climbers are a very grounded character. Yeah. And um, can get camped out on platforms. Oh now, no. Nana guaranteed throws toward the edge when he gets when they get a grab 
um, yeah. next to the edge. Otherwise, it's RNG, right? So um, right there, that was almost a guaranteed kill. I think he did get the stock there, right? He got the stock, yep. yeah. That's going to be a dead Nana. Uh, unless uh, Cookbook can get there in time. Not quite. Okay, it's all about damage here now, but... Luigi can cover so much distance with those wave dashes. They're so crazy. It's good pace. We're seeing Hoborg like wanting to get aggressive as well, which I think is good. Yep, like, absolutely. He's not wanting to play passive and try to find an opening between the two ice climbers if they split. He wants to get aggressive and break them up physically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there we go, dead Nana again. We got a Sopo. Solo Popo. Solo Popo. <laughs> Sopo? That sounds like it's okay. It sounds like something really bad. <laughs> <laughs> like it Get your mind like, out of the gutter. No, 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 no. It sounds like it. It sounds like you're uh, hearing some Texas man like just yelling at it someone. Shopo. <laughs> Get those fucking Shopo out of here. It sounds like something real bad. Here we go. Come on, cookbook. You gotta seal this out oh, really this quick. That down B looks like a really good tool in this matchup. It looks like it splits him up on that final hit. Somehow. Like, oh, man, Cookbook oh, has all the technology. Hit. Huge hit to bring it back to even in the all-important counterpick stage here. Don't want to drop it on your counterpick. You really don't. And I mean, especially for Luigi at the moment, for Hoborg at the moment. Like, if he's able to keep this one competitive and really push Cookbook on a stage where he doesn't have the advantage, you'd imagine that... You know, a lot of that momentum is going to be able to carry in towards that third stage and then that fourth stage because he's playing with confidence then. Mm -hmm, even mm -hmm. if he can keep this one tight, even if he loses it. Yeah, a lot to be said for momentum, yeah. right? Yeah, 100%. And again, Sopo with a high damage and any one of those down airs is going to send Cookbook all the way off stage. Wave dash in. Forward smash is such an aggressive option, but uh, Hoborg is without fear. It's good to see. He's yeah, as you said, Hoborg's yeah. been playing aggressive. Playing like, with confidence. Playing with confidence. <laughs> this is the, the stuff of champions right now. Oh, no! Oh, so poor falls! Oh. <laughs> the edge guard from Hoborg gets it done, and we're going to be seeing him taking that 2-0 lead. Cookbook, dire trouble. Dire. For the ice climbers. There is definitely a, an icy mountain to climb for Cookbook. An icy mountain to climb, indeed. <laughs> I'm so proud of that. <laughs> it's got, it's got <laughs> More slippery than these wave dashes from Luigi. Well, it could be turbulent waves with his dash. Good little projectile. Now, uh, again, these are both very grounded characters. So uh, maybe those projectiles will come in handy. That's going to be really, really rough um, recovery from Cookbook. That side B is one of their best recovery options, and it doesn't grab ledge while uh, the Ice Lost Climbers spinning. is spinning. So the Ice Climbers is forced onto stage. Yeah. We, made, we saw Cookbook at least make the recovery and then get punted off again. Oh, what was that oh. filthy combo? Down smash to down smash to forward air? Get out of here, Hoborg. I mean, he's playing so well. He's just taking liberty with every single opening that he can get. Mm. And for Cookbook at the moment, he hasn't really found a way to stop those openings being available. We haven't seen him, you know, want to play a little bit passive or want to try and slow down the pace of it a little bit. We've just seen Hoborg stay completely in control. Cookbook is playing Hoborg's game. Two right. And Hoborg again has Cookbook in disadvantage, stuck in the corner. Cookbook somehow finds a grab in all that chaos and gets their first kill of the game three. But down a stock and a bit. Yeah, this is rough for Cookbook, but, you know, being able to take that stock back, even being on half percentage, you know, it can really open up the opportunity for something that Cookbook has in store, maybe has prepared, maybe has something in like the back pocket of the playbook to bring out now. If anyone has something in their back pocket, it's Cookbook. Cookbook is such a student of this game. So many recipes. If you've ever talked to them, they have the recipe. They wrote the book on a <laughs> lot of stuff. The they have actually literally invented stuff for ice climbers that ice climbers use around the world. Oh, I mean, he's invented the cookbook. And that's why <laughs> ice climbers are cooking. <laughs> that's, well, it looks like cookbook's getting cooked at the moment by Hoborg. Oh. 
Hoborg up three stocks and still comboing. Going for oh. Nana, that's probably all but sealed it. There's a big, big ask for a Sopo to take down a Luigi without the wife. Without the wife, the wife and kids. Well, Luigi doesn't have a wife, so I don't think uh, Hoborg can feel any sympathy. But Sopo doesn't will have a wife, but Cookbook doesn't have a life to spare. That is the end of the set. No more recipes. <laughs> <laughs> Hoborg moving on to loser side, top eight, and an unfortunate ninth by Cookbook. I know they're going to be disappointed with that. I know they were gunning for top eight. God damn. But, uh, yeah, the Americans got something to say for it. I mean, the Americans have come over, and they've done pretty well. You know, I was hoping for a little bit more Australian pride to show up, I think. Uh, I don't know how it really works in Melee. I assume America's better. They're the strongest region <coughs> in the world. Yeah. Yep. Yep, that'll check out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was... Still a very good performance from Cookbook. We saw him sort of being able to perform when he had nothing going for him as well. Yep. Which I think is, you know, a testament to him as a player, a testament to him as an individual. He was forced in towards Hobo's, Hoborg's game. And it just, like, he was still able to put up, you know, a semi-decent performance. Even Especially considering the, uh, the character that he was versing. Yeah. We don't have a top-level Luigi in Australia. Do we not, not really, no. Um, so, you know, I know that um, the... The bracket um, cookbook was predicted to play Josh Man, the number one player in Australia, right? Yeah. And one of the best players in the world was predicted to play um, McLeod, which is a peach. Would have been um, a rough matchup. And that is the worst matchup out of any of the top tier matchups, bar none. Yeah. Peach ices. So cookbook was practicing a lot with me. How do you prepare for the Luigi? It's hard. You can't. You, yeah. You can't. It's yeah. rough. It is rough. It's um, rough. Unless your name is Hoborg, and then it's fucking it's fantastic. It's fucking free. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking free, low. <laughs> yeah. That might be it, I guess. Is That that would be the last stage before uh, top uh, eight. I think now it's all top eight. Congratulations, Hoborg. Congratulations. Yeah, top eight. Woo, let's go, baby. <laughs> go win it. Go win it. I need to see Luigi win, because I think it'd be funny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know probably, you're probably not people. getting through, uh, Josh, man. But yeah, we could see. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like lo seeing Luigi win because it's what like. Hey, Josh, Marth. It's what Marth, uh, Fox, Captain yeah. Falcon are the three like main guys. Uh, not oh, not quite. Chic, no, uh, it's probably uh, Fox and Marth yeah. up the top there, um, and then Sheik Falco, Captain oh, Falcon. Oh yes, yes, yeah. yes, Sheik and Falco, yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. That, if they're like the main top characters, I think it'd be funny to just see a Luigi win. Yeah, absolutely. I want to see a Luigi win. <laughs> Anytime there is a low tier or mid tier on stage, oh, it's it the high. underdog situation, oh, right? Yeah. And you're, everyone's always secretly going for them. Yeah. Oh, so the characters have tiers then? Yeah, yeah. So it, w is it like community have decided what The community has decided it, yeah. And it goes through like um, every couple of years, maybe there's like... It was slight updates. Yeah, slight yeah. updates according to the meta. Yeah. But, okay. uh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of sick. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of sick. <laughs> it is. I don't know. I don't really know fucking anything about this game, so I'm, I'm glad I'm learning. I'm actually, I've actually learned so much about this fucking game this yeah. weekend. Hey, Drew. It is cooked. Good. I think I just saw Hades. All right. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Take care. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank oh. you. That was excellent. You're actually awesome to co commentate with. So, uh. Would it, would it surprise you to know I do this as a job? Ah, that's <laughs> why. Okay. <laughs> I'm a Counter-Strike uh, commentator by profession. Ah, yeah. right, right, <laughs> so right, right. No me, wonder. You, without the, the knowledge of the game, <laughs> without you've the just knowledge slotted the game. into here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Commentating top 48 melee. Yeah. Day one. <laughs> Day one, yeah. I had Kai being like, oh, we might have an opening on main for you. And I'm like, why? <laughs> I was like, why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> It's like, I'll stick to the side. I'll be, I'll be happy and cozy on the side stream in the carpet with the stairs that everyone jumps down for some reason. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> never like grow up. You never grow up. No, you never grow up. You always jump down the stairs. I don't need to see if it hurts to jump down the stairs. I need to see. Hurt yourself on purpose the first time, then every time after that's probably going to exactly. be easier. Exactly. It would be very funny if I just, just clattered down the stairs. Especially if no one was watching. You just, yeah. have, you just be sitting there like, are there any, uh, <laughs> are there any security oh. cameras? <laughs> uh, there's no cameras in here. I could probably get away with that. <laughs> All right, brother. I'm out Easy. here. Take care. Thank you very much for joining me, heaps. I appreciate it. Thank you for teaching me about the game. <laughs> but yeah, I think this might be it for us, chat. This might be it for us. 
I need to go check with Kai quickly to see if um, we have any more games for this stream. If not, it's all going to be on the main stream, which we'll probably raid. Um, and if we do raid it, there's going to be someone by the name of MJ Carr in there. And if MJ Carr's in there, chat, I need you all to just add him and tell him to fuck himself. Um, it'd be greatly appreciated. Because um, fuck that guy. Nah, I'm kidding. I love him. I love him. I love MJ Carr. I will have a quick check to go see if we have any more games happening on this second stream. Stick around. If not, go watch main. There's currently games going on there at the moment. Um, but yeah, we will be... Um, I mean, I'm going to be right back. I'm not going to change the scene or anything, but I'll be right back. All right, chat, for those of you who are still here, everything is going to be moved over towards the mainstream because uh, it is top eight at the current moment. Um, on behalf of everybody who has sort of been on the uh, broadcast today, it's been an absolute pleasure to have all of you here with us. I need to work out what the mainstream is called. Um, we should probably work out <laughs> what the mainstream is. Um, I'll be honest. Yeah, you. Um, thank, for, thank, you. Yeah, thank you for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure um, uh, for me, for Flam, for literally everyone, like, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been amazing. I've had so much fun. Um, 
like this was my first ever cast to do event, event <laughs> ever. So I've had so much fun and yeah, hopefully I get to do this a bit more with um I've forgotten. With, uh, if anyone has the link <laughs> to the mainstream, if you could put it in chat. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> It'd be appreciated. <laughs> um, I haven't quite got it at the moment. I don't know where to find it. Um, uh, thank you, Darby. Oh, Darby, you fucking goat. It's BTS Smash. All right. I, th I thought it was BTS, but I will check. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, I hope you guys had fun. A big thank you to Kai for hosting us. Oh, my God. Kai, um, amazing. An amazing gentleman. Like, an amazing, so much love. Amazing person. Um, a big thank you to everybody. Make sure you guys stay safe. Have a great day, night, wherever you are in the world. Take care and have fun over on the mainstream. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 The button hasn't showed up yet, so we're going to have to so continue to do this. So we're going to have to do this, yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> That is quite funny. Alright, um, I forgot where his end stream button is.